Are you having ongoing slight elevations in your liver enzymes? Maybe you were told it's perfectly normal and you shouldn't worry about it. My name is Dr. Taranella, and in this video, I'm going to go into some of the details on why that may or may not be appropriate for you. So we're going to look at what the optimal levels of liver enzymes are for males and females so you can better understand what to do for your own health. If you're new to this channel, like I said, my name is Dr. Taranella, and I'm creating this video to connect the dots of your health to go beyond the basics. I enjoy helping people get better understanding of what's going on with their health, whether it's a confusing blood test, a symptom, or a diagnosis. I make these videos because I enjoy helping people understand what's going on with their health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health optimization, hormones, and things like that, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. All right, now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's connect the dots on this topic about what the optimal level of liver enzymes is. <laughs> What level of liver enzymes should I be concerned with? So mainly we're looking at this from the perspective of you get a blood test back and you might have elevated liver enzyme tests on there. This could be the AST, the ALT, or the GGT. And AST is usually written out as aspartate aminotransferase and ALT is written out as alanine aminotransferase. Most of the time the GGT isn't done, but sometimes if you're looking specifically at a liver function test, the GGT will be included. There are a few other liver tests that may be included in a liver specific test, but these are the three that are of most importance for your liver. I mentioned in other videos why these levels might be high and some other testing you might wanna consider doing if you end up with elevated levels of these liver enzymes. These enzymes do come from your liver, but they can be found to a lesser extent in some other other tissues as well. So with all that being said, at what level should you start to be concerned when your liver enzymes are high? How high is too high? The reference range for your liver enzymes are going to be slightly different from one lab to the next. Typically, the level for the AST or aspartate aminotransferase is going to be reported as between 10 and 40 units per liter and alanine aminotransferase between 7 to 56 units per liter. So those are the reference range. And usually if you fall within those parameters, you're not going to get flagged as high or low by the left. Mild elevations are generally considered to be maybe one to two times the normal limit. Moderate would be two to three times. And then severely high levels are going to be in the thousands. So then the question is, what do you do when your levels are in the 60s, 70s, or even 50s? Are these really a problem? Should you be concerned if your liver enzymes are on the upper end of normal or slightly above. This is actually a pretty common thing where you see a lab isn't flagging it, but it is slightly high. I see this very commonly in my practice. There's usually a good reason for that, but that doesn't mean it's actually in the optimal range. So optimal or a true healthy range for ALT is going to be a range between 29 and 33 units per liter for males and slightly lower for females, 19 to 25. Levels consistently above this, meaning multiple tests that are higher than this, probably should be investigated for what the cause is. Well, we're not going to get into the causes here because there's other videos on that topic. You should check those out if you're interested. But the same approximate ranges can be used for the AST and GGT. To make things simple and straightforward, I usually use 25 as my general reference range for both males and females. If it's above that, that could be a problem. But of course, there's some leeway depending on if you're male or female and which tests we're actually looking at. But that's a rule of thumb that I usually go off of. Now, transient elevations, one test above 25 is nothing to be concerned about. It's the consistent elevations and you know, how much more than 25 is it? Is it 50? Is it you know 30? That's going to really tell you, determine what the next steps are going to be. A lot of times when it's slightly above, it's not really something to be concerned about. But when they start to get into the upper end of the reference range there in the 50s, that's when you want to start looking a little deeper, especially if they're like that after multiple tests. So if you want more details on elevated liver enzymes, check out my other videos on this topic. There's also a very detailed paper that goes into a lot more detail on why we're establishing 25 as a normal, healthy, optimal range. The basis of it is, you know, if you take a sick population and try and create a reference range from that, you're going to have a sick reference range. So that paper goes into a lot more detail. So if you want to check that out, it'll be in the description. So that's all I have for this video on what level of liver enzymes should you be concerned with. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll be curious to know how your testing and understanding is coming along. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.